everybody. I hope you guys are all doing great. It is Sunday morning. It's about 8.15. I just got home from the gym. Today's typically a rest day, but I was feeling good, so I decided to go anyway. But uh, right now, I'm going to hop in the shower and get cleaned up. And then I'll see you in a little bit for a recipe that I want to share with you. I just finished getting all cleaned up and uh, back into like really comfortable Sunday clothes. Um, for breakfast this morning, I am having overnight oats and I just have them in a mason jar here in the fridge. And I'm going to cut away now and show you my recipe. the rest in the fridge for tomorrow they'll keep in the fridge between two and three days so um yeah you have some time to eat them once you make them i am going to eat um a clementine separately so i'm not going to add any fruit to it but what i am going to grab is a few walnuts and some honey i'm going to put those on top and then have an orange make some coffee and enjoy my breakfast and catch up with steven because he's awake now and so is Bubba's. So I'll see you after breakfast. I am currently jamming out to Kesha's song, Praying. It is so stinking good. Um, but I went to the P.O. Box yesterday and I wanted to show you two cute things that I received in the P.O. Box. So Erin sent me this beautiful card with this hummingbird on it. Um, and she said, I saw this card and just thought of you. I hope that you're enjoying your summer with Steven. Um, and that I've touched a chord in her. And then she sent me this beautiful hummingbird charm. I actually think I'm going to hang it in my car. Um, because I think it's just so beautiful. Then I got this card. And there's no name. It says, be happy, be bright, be you. Literally no name, no name on the envelope. And they sent me this beautiful Lillian and Company bracelet. And it's have courage and be kind. And it's just so cute. I'm gonna wear it all day today. Another thing that I got this weekend that I had ordered a while ago, and it's really hard to find right now. Um, I saw it on Ingrid Nielsen's uh, June Favorites. She's a YouTuber I love. I'll leave her link down below, although you probably already know her. Um, and I'm going to say it wrong, but it's Mason Louis Marie number no. 4 Bois de Bellencourt. Um, it is like sandalwood, cedar, amber, cinnamon. It's just great. It's a little oil roller ball. Um, and what's great about it being an oil is that it like will last all day. Um, it's easy to travel with. It'll also like distribute just the right amount. So it'll also last you a long time. It was around $50, but I will tell you it's really hard to find. I'll leave it linked down below if I can um, find it. <laughs> minute timer just went off and I got so much done when I set that timer like I hustle to get as much done in that time I literally broke a sweat 
Um, and then just as I was wrapping up, Bubba's and Steven came back from their walk, and now Steven took my car to get washed because it is filthy. But in that 35 minutes, let me tell you what I got done. I got all my upper cabinets wiped down. I got all my countertops wiped down, and I got the living room, dining room, office, all dusted and all vacuumed and all the hardwood swept. And yeah, I think that's what I got done in the 35 minutes. And I'll show you what I do then to keep track of the things that will need to get done. Tomorrow, I'll only set the timer for like 15 minutes and I have a couple things that I need to finish. So in my pantry, first of all, let's take a minute to enjoy this pantry because it's just the cutest. Um, in my pantry, I have my whiteboard. Um, Monday through Friday, I'll plan out all the meals today and probably do the grocery shopping tomorrow just because I don't feel like it. On Saturday, we usually have leftovers or we'll go out. And then on Sundays, I usually just make like a go-to meal, one that I always have in my back pocket and usually have the ingredients for. That's what I'm doing today. And then what I do is my things to do, I know I need to get my lower cabinets and my hood wiped down during tomorrow's 15 minute timer set to clean. So I can leverage and get those things done and then just do a little bit of tidying up around. And then on the other side, the notes is just things I need to pick up. I am out of baking soda and I need some lemons. Now that the house is all cleaned up and um, I've worked out this morning, I ate breakfast, I'm gonna take a minute just to chill out. But I wanted to let you guys know that I finished Lilac Girls. If you're following me on Instagram, you know that I was like struggling. Like the struggle was real to get into this book. And it was good, um, but I cannot get invested in the character Caroline to save my life. Herta and Keja, I had no problem. I was so into their storylines. I found myself like not even paying attention when I was reading Caroline's chapter because it was broken down into like um, the three characters. I would find myself like rushing to get through her chapter and like couldn't care less about it. Um, but her tank Kejas, I really enjoyed. I finished it because I had already gone so far in it and I felt the need to wrap it up. But I don't know if I'd recommend it, although everybody else loves it. I just, I had trouble with it, but I'm glad I read it. Um, but uh, yeah, so tonight or later today, I get to start a new book and I have a couple sitting up on my uh, nightstand. So we'll pick one out a little bit later. All right, gang, I'm gonna just chill out, watch some TV, get a glass of water, and then I will catch up with you in a little bit. It is about 12.45, and um, we decided that we are going to go to a 210 movie to see The Beguiled. Um, starring Nicole Kimmon. So Steven is up taking a nap and in the meantime I'm going to start a new book. I have some coming this week um, so I just wanted to grab something that I can read like in a day or two until the other books get delivered which I think they're coming tomorrow. Um, so I'm reading the book Dumplin'. It got really great reviews on Amazon so I was excited to get it and um, to give it a try. It is about a young girl named Willadine um, and she is someone who has always been kind of cast aside because of her weight and um, she has a pageant mom and somehow she falls in love with the jock of the school and he falls in love with her. And instead of it building her self-confidence, she ends up becoming really insecure. So she decides to boost her confidence by joining a beauty pageant along with some other unlikely candidates. And um, it's the story of her journey and it says like she's a really great heroine in the book um, and that uh, it got rave reviews on Amazon. It has almost five stars. Um, it takes place in Texas. It also references Dolly Parton songs, and you all know I have a love for Dolly Parton. So yeah, I'll probably finish this like by tomorrow morning, hopefully. So it should be a really quick read. So I'm gonna read while Steven takes his nap, and then we'll get ready and head off to the movies, so. Hey, what'd you think of the movie? It was very slow for the first hour. The second hour was okay, but I wouldn't, uh... I wouldn't pay full price for it. I would do a matinee if you're gonna do it, but it might just be it might just be wise if you rent it when it comes out. I on the other hand don't even think you need to rent it. <laughs> it 
was, I didn't think it was very good. I've never fallen asleep in a movie and I could barely keep my eyes open. Um, and then we had to stop by the organic pet store to buy Bubba's his food. It was time for his free bag of food. What does Bubba's eat? He eats signature um, dog food. He switches the flavors off, but he does not like the pork flavor. So he has lamb. Um, but uh, now we're headed home, and then we'll start getting dinner ready. And yeah, I'll see you when we get there. We were home. Hi, 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 hi. Alrighty, everyone. So we are. My hair is so flat and boring today. Um, so we are back at home and I'm just making dinner. So on the stove, I have the water boiling for the whole wheat penny pasta. I have the chicken baking in the um, toaster oven, which is a little salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil. And now I'm getting ready to make my favorite avocado sauce for the pasta. So I have one whole avocado, um, a lemon, garlic, two cloves, uh, about a quarter of a shallot, a big bunch of fresh basil, and then some black pepper and pink Himalayan sea salt. And then I also need to grab our olive oil. So I'm going to flip the camera. All right, gang, so this recipe could not be any easier. So first I'm just gonna get this avocado ready. So I'm just gonna slice it. All right, avocado is in. Now I'm just going to dump in the garlic in the shallot and the basil leaves, the Himalayan sea salt and the pepper. And then I'm going to juice one really big lemon into this. So I can stream in a, a little bit of olive oil, probably about, uh, I'd say a little less than a quarter cup. So let's go ahead and get this going. Right now this is thicker than I want the sauce, so I'm going to get a little bit of my reserved pasta water um, from the boiled pasta and just add that in to thin it out a bit. Add a little bit of this pasta water, cover this back up, and blend it really low. All right, my pasta is all cooked, so now I'm just going to Alexa off. I'm just gonna add my sauce to it. I added some fresh basil leaves. I also then took my baked chicken, just sliced it up and put it on top. And now I'm just gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top of everything. Voila, simple, takes minutes to make, mm, and it's so good. So Steven and I are going to enjoy dinner outside, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Dinner is all cleaned up, and Steven just took Bubba's for a quick walk around the neighborhood, and I think we're going to spend our night with a bottle of wine and having a fire outside because it's just like a beautiful, perfect night. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you found it helpful. Make sure if you have any questions to leave a comment down below. In the meantime, I will leave this vlog like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone, my friends. Until next time, bye.